Hello, October 4th. Hey, just kind of finished that oil change. Pull the skid plate, one bolt down here, skid plate. And then down here is, uh, shit, there it is. Uh, where your oil screen and your little spring and other O ring. O ring's been replaced, screen's been cleaned, that's put back in. Then you gotta come to this side. And, uh, that's where the oil filter's at. I replaced this one. This is a short one. This one's fucked up. And it's way long, so I'll have to call my bike bandit and get a new one of those. And this is, uh, I would have put another one of those in there, but this has a special shoulder on there for the O-ring so it won't leak. But the O-ring's in here been replaced. The filter's been replaced. And once you get it running, they tell you to loosen this bolt. And uh, make sure you get oil dribbling out of there when it's idling, or there's you put something together wrong, you don't get oil out of there, you're gonna seize the motor. So anyway, that's all done. Took a little over a quart of that. Might as well put the good shit in there. Replace the O-rings, one, two, with the Yamaha parts. Also replace the Yamaha oil filter, and if you guys need the number, there's the number. It's a 5H0-13440-09. So that's the number. Actually, our part number for the Yamaha oil filter. Probably going to put the chain on a little bit later after lunch. Got a clean and detailed skid plate. Might want to order one of these rubber things if I can find one. Because uh, this thing's broken, and I don't think that's the right one that's on there. They just put it in there, so it wouldn't rattle. But I think let's see if we can find another one of those little rubber things. But uh, that's it for right now. Got a lift. Nice Craftsman aluminum lift. It's borrowed, but borrowed forever probably until he needs it. So, but anyway, October 4th, oil change is done. No leaks. <sighs> Going to continue on after lunch.